Hey everybody, welcome to Black Spin. So today, I don't I hope you guys don't get like pissed off at me or anything like that. I'm trying to figure out how to put this phone. It's like a pump me a cocktail, excuse me. Um hmm. Probably should have figured out the logistics prior to hitting the record button. Ooh, sorry. Well, I apologize and you know, I really hate low that word. Okay, let's try these bottles. And no. Okay, so we're gonna try a glove to hold up against the glass. But today's video, hence by the title, I wanna talk a little bit about Kobe Bryant and how he be in the black community, hero ties. <laughs> I'm always making them up, aren't I? We uh, make martyrs out of people who don't deserve it. And then the ones who do deserve it, they rarely get love from us in the black community. It's crazy. This man has got more love than Dr. Francis Chris Wilson. Bobby Hammett, I believe he's still with us, but he's very ill. Bobby Hammett, um, Fredrickson, everybody, everybody put together. Um, just like, I don't get it. I don't get it. He's got more love than all of our black leaders Shit. who put the whoops, who put their lives on the line and fought on the front line for us. And we just make a hero out of a sandwich nowadays. Like, and feel free to speak on it. I know there's going to be a bunch of hate in the comments. I don't give a shit. Um, he hasn't done anything for our community at all. And I looked at all his charities. Him and Vanessa, the Vanessa Bryant. I looked at all his shit. The most thing that he has is actually viable is the, some type of sports academy. And all it is is introducing our youth to the slave trade. We're never going to get grassroots politicians and people that need to make a difference. Our scholars, our literarians. If we keep making them, teaching them to play sports. And then when they use sports to get ahead, we make fun of them. Like that black guy who played professional football for, I think, two seasons. And then he quit so he can go back to college to be a neurosurgeon. Which is what he wants to do in the first place. But he needed the motherfucking money. You hear? But, and he was made fun of. Like, what the fuck? Like, guys. I mean, I'm empathetic when anyone dies. Period. You know, just... Is a death, but as a people, we mourning someone who put no substance in us as a people. He was an entertaining basketball player, he was a talented basketball player. But really, y'all, really, I'm going down my timeline three days in a row. That's all I see is this man. I'm talking about he get way more love than anybody we can imagine. Even when he posted, had anally raped that um white girl, he got so much love. And I didn't do it. He got so much. I didn't do it. And more. And I didn't do it. And he didn't do it. And we don't believe it. And Bill Cosby did. But we are just so ready and so willing to be entertained until we're not ready and willing to be uplifted and loved and respect those that do that for us. And it's just quite nerve wracking. I don't get it. You know, this man had a. Long time girlfriend who he was low key already engaged to when he met Vanessa that he had been with since the since middle school and they made it serious in high school. So he'd been with this girl for the better part of seven, eight years, you know, at the point to where he just went off to Mexico. Well, fuck, he met Vanessa Ed and bam, met her, married her out of high school. It's crazy. While this young lady was waiting for you to send her the move package so she could transfer schools to transfer to L.A. Just confirming it. She found out this man was engaged on TV in his mama front room. That's why his parents fell out. Because he got some money and changed like all these other black men do. He pulled a Kevin Hart and we clapping for him and happy for him. I'm sorry his daughter died. I'm sorry that he passed away. But this was not a, a martyr for the black community. It just wasn't. And y'all just don't like the truth. People's arguing me on Facebook about the, the, this exact point. Like, for what? He wasn't raising a black family. <laughs> she wasn't a father to no black kids. Oh, the one drop rule. I forgot about the drop, the half and half rule. Baby, those children are biracial. Biracial is a race. Okay, in case y'all don't know. Yeah, society might treat them like niggas. I doubt it. <laughs> but they're biracial. Biracials get, have the same privilege. Just a little underneath the white privilege. So we can stop that shit. Okay, damn, my teeth white as fuck, you know. I never had a cavity. Never been to the dentist getting none of that teeth whitening, teeth bleaching stuff. It's just an organic child. 
But um, yeah, we're making a mountain out of a molehill, not to diminish him and his daughter's death, but really, y'all, showing him more love than Dick Gregory, Dr. Francis Cress Wilson put together. I mean, we suffered some great losses in um 2019 as far as the culture is is concerned, and that's who we pour out our cups to and flood the timelines with. You know, damn, it's sad. It is really sad, and it speaks to where we are as a people. That we are mourning Kobe Bryant when we haven't even mourned our teachers, our educators, the people who had that sacrifice their freedom for ours, who educated us, who put themselves on the front line just to make sure that we knew we was more than niggas. Avid authors. Avid writers. You know what I mean? So, um, okay, so them glasses must have had no jet dry. Because they not sparkling. I'm not drinking out of them if they ain't shiny. Anywho. So, um, we really need to start thinking about our values and morals when it comes to who we worship. You know, because our kids are going to emulate the people that we're idolizing. You know what I mean? So when your kid grow up and get some money and then the black girl he was with all through high school um, get left on TV in your front room, remember, y'all was idolizing the same man who did that type of fuck shit. Like, you can't be mad at Kevin Hart for um, leaving his wife that was with him when he didn't have shit um, for a bitch that wouldn't spit on him if he was poor. I mean, if he was in the, you know, in selling shoes, then... We can't worship Kobe Bryant when he exhibited the same bad behavior. Like, I'm sorry, just because he died doesn't excuse his bad behavior and his mistreatment of one of our sisters, one of our black queens. You know, about the fact that he's steady introducing our kids to the slave trade. What was his law school programs, his business school programs, you know? Like, come on, stop playing. Now, when, um, now I understand if it was not to speak ill or wish ill in his life or wish death for him. Just a, an example. I could see if it was, um, what's the guy who got that school? All his, all his, his entire board, um, his entire board he grew up with. He sent to college, educated them, and now they're running his companies and managing his fortune. He got people he trusts in place that look like him, that came from where he come from. What's his name? LeBron James? Dwayne Wade? LeBron, no, Dwayne Wade is the guy with the, with the daughter's son. He's a dad girl. Um, yeah. LeBron James. Now, if he passed by, I'd be like, fuck, that's some whole ass shit. He got the school. He doing, he doing great things. And a lot, what I did find out is a lot of stuff he do for black people is undercover. He kind of like a uh, Jay-Z kind of like. They just do shit and don't tell nobody they done done the shit. Um, but it's easy to find, especially when they be hashtagging and all that gratitudes and stuff. You know, because I be looking. It's a little harder to find information now. Now that Instagram changed a lot of their eavesdropping um, ways. So we can't just see what you like and all this other stuff no more. So it's a little difficult to snoop now. But I'm just saying, y'all, just... Again, I'm sorry he died, but y'all, we have got to watch who we worshiping. We've got to stop with the false idols. And we have to start breathing life into our children to, through those that are attempting to breathe life into us. You know what I mean? Yeah, he was a great basketball player. I'm not going to take nothing from him, but breathe life into the community first. You know, I can understand us mourning Nipsey Hussle. You know, he deserved to be a martyr. You know what I mean? He made strides in the community. Stop putting them fucking Lakers jerseys on Nipsey. Like, stop that fucking shit. This man had a culture, had people he believed in, and had, and had a marathon that he was running to help better the people in the community where he was from, and that shit was going to spread throughout. You know what I mean? That's who you mourn. That's who you cry for. That's who you put on your t-shirts. You know what I mean? People who were doing something for your people. You know? Like, and the type of money he had... Honey, baby, he could have put all kind of brilliant black people through law school and made them viable politicians from the grassroots instead of making basketball counts. Come on, play ball. Please play ball. Join the slave trade. Get rich like me. And then get a light bitch. 
that don't speak the English. <laughs> Y'all got to stop. Let's get on cold, people. R.I.P. to the man, but R.I.P. to the man as a basketball player, not to the man as a man. If you asked me, he wasn't a good one. Okay? Not only did you come up and lead a black woman that was there for you when you didn't have shit, who was helping buy your clothes, helping buy your J's, because she had a job and you was focused on basketball. Like, homegirl, like, helped take care of him. His parents wasn't like the richest. They wasn't poor either. But there were certain things his parents would, didn't button down with that she was. You stopped talking to your mom and daddy behind this bitch. What type of hoe, what type of woman would be down with you not talking to your mama and daddy? Like, nah, y'all would have to make that hole again. She wasn't even close to her grandkids at all. And, and, then, and then look at this from my perspective. This is why I don't agree with interracial relationships and interracial couples and interracial marriages. Now the Mexican community has just got however many million or billion he was worth richer. And then <clears throat> five, six years from now, when all them black basketball camps turn into Mexican youth camps, let me tell you something. This is why if that, if that money could have stayed black had it been married to a black woman with black children. Now that money is Mexican. Right along with them children. I know a, a bunch of dudes from around the way who got children with Mexican people. And those kids know the Mexican culture. They don't know shit about, uh, I'm talking about they be dressing like me. You're not Mexican dressed with the little them skirts and shit, you know. You know. The princess toy heels that our kids play in, they get the way out in public. You know, the, the 0.5 inch. <laughs> Trust me, they're going to grow up identifying more as Hispanic. Hmm. So now all his wealth is now Mexican. And then what? His parents was doing bad and was about to lose their house on the cool. And, um, because of taxes. And he... And they were trying to sell some of his high school shit, some of his high school trophies, and he got mad again. Nigga, if that was my husband, I'd be like, well, damn, why you ain't pay their taxes for them? Okay, well, yeah, they mad at you because you left that girl that you was with all them years and for me. I bet. I understand. I'm, I ain't mad at you, you know. <laughs> it is what it is. However, look, pay that girl way through college. And um, so she can get over it. Pay that girl way through college. As in, I'm sorry and thank you for being there for me. I still, you know what I'm saying? I still want to be your friend. Pay your parents taxes. They shouldn't be in that much debt. And you got all this. You've accumulated all this wealth. But that's when you got a queen behind your back that think rationally. You know what I'm saying? Not no selfish gold digger. Come on, girl, stop. You married that man straight out of high school at, at what, 17, 18? Matter of fact, you had engaged him when you were still in high school as a senior. So you a gold digger. Your parents is fucking gold diggers because they was down with the shit. And they didn't, if, if he was a nigga that was still in high school playing basketball, your parents damn sure wouldn't let you marry his ass. So you was on some whole shit selling some ass because you knew it was going to be beneficial for you. And you didn't give a damn about who it was going to hurt. You didn't give a damn about procuring his relationship with his parents. They don't... They, But y'all all drawing t-shirts and jerseys and acting like the black community has taken a major loss. We didn't lose nothing but a, a retired basketball player. Wasn't he retired? He didn't even play no more. Like, <laughs> When it comes down to the greatest that has ever done it, I look at you being the greatest off the court. You cannot be the greatest that ever done it on the court. You can't. Like all these Jordans and shit motherfuckers buying, I only buy my daughter Jordan just because of a, uh, I want her to fit in. I don't want her to be a vibrate on a low frequency to where she feel like what she wants she can't have. But I don't agree with buying them. I don't agree with him as a person. And hopefully when she get older, she'll realize where I was coming from and how I was thinking, how I was feeling when I would tell her, hey, you know, this is a financial loss. You know, this is not, this is arbitrary. You know, this is not what we should be spending money on. You know, I make sure that she understands that. When she want a pair of Gucci shoes, we're going to go get our shit from Dapper Dan. You know what I'm saying? When she gets to that, to high school, she start asking for that type of shit. Like, we're going to make sure somebody black profit off of you buying these European labels. Again, 
I'm only doing it because I don't want my daughter to be like, you know, to vibrate on a low frequency. And I want her to, you know, have a good time. I showed up and showed out when I was in school. I used to wear belly loafers in school, you know what I mean? And look at me now. Everyone takes their own track, their own path to righteousness, you know what I mean? I'm letting my daughter take her own. So I don't think I'm being hypocritical. If I had this knowledge that I have prior to having her, then she would be on a whole other frequency already. So, you know, I'm willing to take my accountability as a parent. But anyway, back on Kobe. I feel like we mortar, mortarize. Whatever. You know my philosophy of whips can do it? So can I. Um, the wrong people in our community. And that's why we don't have no heroes. A hero is more than a sandwich. Hmm. I just feel like um, we should. I'm talking about people on Facebook. Let me, let me say this. They was got me cold bitches and all kind of shit just because I was like, eh, you know, RIP, but like he wasn't the greatest. The fuck? He wasn't. He was. They didn't contribute nothing to our society and our people. Even where he from, you know? Yeah, he did the little regular, you know, Black Lives Matter donation, little this, little that, you know, just to look good on paper. But actually making some viable things. And I, yes, and um, LeBron said he got a lot of his ideas from Kobe as far as being charitable and kind-hearted. But the difference is when Le LeBron, even though he gave him that credit, he was already on that mind, that mind path because he already had his homeboys in college that he come up with. He already had them creating his corporation that he came up with. So he already had these things in motion. He just didn't consider it charity. You know what I'm saying? But that was wise. You took your homeboys out the street and made them accountants, made them executives, made them investors, made them, you know what I'm saying, uh, hedge fund managers. So that's putting back into your community because those same rich guys that he created got black wives, got black children. Now those are creating more wealthy black families. You know what I'm saying? So he was already on the mob. Just, just, you know, whatever. He gave Kobe the credit. It's cool, whatever. But he was already on that wavelength, brother. Brother LeBron. So look at his wife. He didn't trade up. He didn't trade out. He didn't leave the black community and, and get with Becky and them. And Susanna and them. That's all I'm saying is we... <laughs> like, look... If that's if that, if that's how you, who y'all want to fantasize and um mortarize and heroize and and, and and put your ashes out to, then I guess it's true. A hero ain't nothing but a sandwich. Hmm. Peace and love. This black span and I'm out.